Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, in this video, we're going to use the discriminant to find solutions for quadratic equations. Okay, and actually, what it, it means that we're going to, you know, use the discriminant right here to state the number and type of solutions we have for the equation we're going to we're going to have to to work out. Okay, um, but before starting, uh, I'm going to focus on the discriminant a little bit. Uh, give you a couple of informations, right? The discriminant, some call it data delta and some other d, but this is all the same. And this is equals to uh, b to the power of 2 minus 4 ac, a times c, okay? And if you look back at the, uh, the standard form of the quadratic equation, it is ax to the power of 2 plus bx plus c equals to zero okay it means that you just have to replace i mean to use a b and c here right here to find the discriminant and the good thing about discriminant is that you can know from the very beginning if you have two solutions one double solution or no solution at all okay so it goes like this if your discriminant delta is bigger than zero of course you get two solutions Okay, but if your discriminant delta is equal to zero, you're gonna have one double solution. It's gonna be a double solution. It's, it means that like you can have x1 equals x2 equals, for example, two. Okay, and if your discriminant is less than zero, of course, there is no solution right here. Okay, so now we can start by using this example. Okay, um, in this example right here, uh, 3x to the power of 2 equals to minus 4 plus 8x. Okay, so here, as you can see, uh, this equation right here is not in the order, it's not rearranged, it's not like a standard form of a quadratic equation. So we need to rearrange it first of all, and then we can apply the discriminant on it. So it goes like this, 3x to the power of 2. Uh, we're taking both terms at the other side. That would be minus 8x plus 4. And the whole thing equals to 0. Now we can just identify. We can just uh, do it like this. Just write the standard form, you know, below under a x to the power of two minus b uh, plus b x so plus b x plus c equals to zero, and then try to identify, and you can see that you know a here equals to three, b equals to minus a, and c equals to Four. So we can use our discriminant now to solve it. So delta here will be, in this case, b to the power of 2. It means that we're going to have minus a to the power of 2 minus 4 and then times we're having a and b. 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Uh, this is going to give us uh, here a to the 2 is 64 minus 4 times 12 48 okay and this is actually uh, equals to 16 okay and 16 is you know plus minus 4 to the power of 2 or you can say that or let me just put it like this um, first of all we can say 16 is bigger than zero and therefore we have two solutions first of all okay but we can also say that uh, delta equals to plus minus four okay like this all right now we are doing we are having uh, you know we're gonna give our solution I forgot to tell you here the solution of a discriminant R we have x1 equals to uh, minus b 
minus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2a, 2 times a. And the second solution, 2 x2 equals to minus b plus the root of the discriminant divided by 2a. So this is what we're going to apply here. We say that we have two solutions. So this is the case right here. Okay, right now we have an x1 will be equal to minus b minus b b is a will be give us a minus the square root of this screen number so minus four that's why i did this right here that be minus four divided by two times a a is three there will be six right here and then we having two over six which is equal to one third okay a four four pardon I uh, beg the pattern. It is four here. Sorry. Um, this is not two, but four. Go a little fast. Okay, we have in here four divided by, and this is two third. Okay, we need to simplify the thing here. Um, this is our first solution, and the second one will be uh, eight plus four. You know, not only the opposite using the different sign. This is what we got here, divided by six. That's going to be 12 over 6, and this is uh, exactly 2. And then we can say the solution to our equation is therefore 2 thirds and 2. Okay? This is how you can use discriminant to, to solve quadratic equation. And it's really fast to, to, to do that. I mean, using the discriminant as because you know already if you get a solution or not okay um, we can even have another example this uh, for this way right here okay and this example uh, will be um, I'm having here x to the power of 2 plus minus 12 x plus 11 equals to zero okay in this case we we don't need i mean we we don't need to arrange it because everything is in a standard form okay so we just identify a b and c and go ahead and continue so a uh a equals your one b equals uh minus 12 and c equals to 11 okay so delta in this case will be um, say that it is b to the power 2 minus 4 to the power 2 is 144 okay minus 4 times a 1 and c 11 1 times 11 is 11 okay so we have in here 144 minus 44 it is 100 and this is also bigger to 0 so we got two solutions okay and Delta here right here is also equal to plus minus 10 because 10 to the power 2 equals to 100 and minus 10 to the power 2 also equal to 100. So we have the first solution is therefore uh, minus b will be minus minus is 12 minus the square root of this one and the square root of this one is 10 over 2 times a 1. Okay, 2 times 1. This is here 2 over 2 and equals to 1 and the second solution will be uh, 12 plus 10 over 2 and this is 22 over 2 what equals to 11 okay so as the solution of our equation you can even call it a or whatever equals to uh, 1 and 11 okay and that's how you use the discriminant to solve the quadratic equation. Thank you for watching again, guys. In the next video, we continue doing more exercises either with discriminant or completing the square. Thank you for watching again. Bye bye.